All right. Uh, thanks for the introduction, Harshil. Uh, thanks for having us here. Uh, now, let me share my screen. I have a quick presentation. All right. Uh, you guys can see my screen? Yep. Yes. Awesome. All right. Uh, so this is a small talk. Uh, I'm going to share you a super cool app that I regularly use. Uh, so this, uh, I call it, I call this as uh, a social broadcaster and I've built this using AppSmith and N810. Uh, so moving on, I'm going to share you the motivation behind building this. So, all right. So uh, why I've built this? So usually I deal with a lot of social platforms every day and I feel managing content is really hard. You know, we'll, al uh, we'll always have to log into Twitter, LinkedIn, Discord, Slack, and then, you know, cross post content across all these platforms. So I felt, uh, you know, it's a hard problem for everyone and say, if at all, we have a customizable dashboard where we could manage all the content that could be super helpful for all the users. And then uh, again, building a completely, building an app from scratch uh, using, you know, JavaScript frameworks is hard. And then I thought I could utilize N810 and AppSmith to build this uh, application myself. Uh, there are two, uh, you know, advantages of this. So it took me just uh, 10 minutes to build this app and both AppSmith and N810 are completely free and open source. With that being said, uh, let me give you a quick intro of what AppSmith is. All right, so AppSmith is a uh, local platform that will help you build internal uh, tools 10x faster. So this is a quick in infographic of how AppSmith works. So first we have uh, AppSmith connects to any data source. Currently there are 10 data sources you can connect. You can connect to Postgres, uh, you can connect to Mongo, uh, either of these, uh, you know, any of the available data sources. And then you can query all the data using JavaScript. Uh, you can write custom logics and then, you know, you can uh, literally do anything, uh, you know, uh, literally clone any application uh, using this JavaScript. And then you can instantly publish your apps and then deploy it within a single click. All right, so uh, I'll quickly go through how I've built this app using AppSmith and N810. Uh, cool. So uh, this is how uh, my UI looks like. So this is, uh, you know, uh, so I'm currently using the apps, uh, AppSmith cloud version. As you can see, you have the widget section and then you have the uh, data source section. So first uh, you can choose whatever widgets uh, you want on your app and then uh, quickly drag and drop it here. So, you know, uh, I had, you know, dropped a few widgets here. So this is a basic text widget. And if you open it, uh, if you click on this, you can see a property pane here and then you have your input widget. And then uh, just for customization sake, I have uh, used four switch widgets here. Uh, so my idea is you write once and then you publish to all the short uh, social platform uh, within a single click. So this is the basic UI. It took me less than five minutes to build this on AppSmith. And then coming back to N810, uh, so I am using uh, the cloud version of N810. So this is how my uh, workflow looks like. And then I'm using a web webflow web, web hook, uh, which uh, connects to uh, app, uh, which I can access with AppSmith and then uh, send data through all this platform. As you can see, this is a simple, uh, if node that I've used on N10. So this basically, uh, you know, communicates with the switch widget uh, on the AppSmith. All right. And then uh, configuring nodes on N10 is, uh, is super easy. All you need to do is just, uh, you know, add a uh, link, uh, authorize with your uh, social platform. Uh, and then this literally took me like five minutes to build this. All right. That being said, uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how I'm connecting the webhook onto AppSmith. So on N810, I've just copied my uh, URL, uh, the test URL here. And then on AppSmith, I've used an API. So this is my webhook URL. And then in the body, I'm sending all the information from my widgets. As you can see, uh, this is the input text that I'm taking from the uh, input widget from AppSmith. And these are all the conditions from which, uh, you know, I can share all my content onto different social platforms. It's that simple. And if you can also see here uh, on the evaluated uh, type, it says content as undefined since I do not have any text there. And then medium, since you know nothing is selected, uh, you know I have uh, everything evaluated here. All right. So that being said, I'll quickly you know 
post something uh, to the selected social platforms. Cool. So I'm going to execute my workflow here. And then now uh, it waits for the webhook call. Like, let me hide this. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to say uh, app Smith and N8N are awesome. And then I'm going to select Slack, Discord, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So these four are now connected to my you know, personal social accounts. And then within single click, uh, there you go. Everything is done. So if you go to my Twitter, let me refresh this. OK, just um, cool. So uh, on my Discord, I can see my message. On Slack, I can see my message. On LinkedIn, let me refresh my page. All right, I think I'll have to reauthorize it because I've tested this uh, a, a while ago. Let me do it quickly. All right, so sorry, I have paused these two things. So what I'll do is I'll execute the workflow again. And this time I'm gonna select only Twitter and LinkedIn. So I'm just disabling this thing. Post now, let me go back, refresh. And there you go. So within single click, you can manage everything, all your uh, you know social platforms. So I felt this interesting, and then you know thought of sharing this with you uh, in this talk. Uh, being said that, uh, we also did a demo last week. Uh, so we also have conference on the talk. Uh, he'll be posting you that link where we have built the entire uh, free tech clone using uh, AppSmith and N8N. Uh, feel free to uh, go through that and you know experiment with stuff things. All right, uh, over to you, Harshil.